Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Did you have a good Christmas? And this is Jurassic World, the game. Uh, sorry I haven't been uploading too much around Christmas, just because I was really busy, and I hope uh, you've been spending time with your familia, as, as I did, because I think that's what's important when it comes to uh, Christmas. I'm not too religious myself, and I'm not going to get too into it, um, but I think what's important... Um, about Christmas for me personally is family and friends and just uh, reconnecting with people that you might have fell out of touch with um, and just all that kind of jazz. So today you've already seen the thumbnail and the title. Yes, <laughs> I have. I got a little prezzy from Santa. No, I didn't. I worked hard for this one. Uh, you can kind of see this is interesting because you got like a red bauble and a, a red T-Rex bauble and a red spinal bauble, um, respectively, in each corner. And it used to be blue, so I wonder uh, why they've changed that. But but hey ho, we've also got a new boss. Um, which is the Megalo... Meg what's it called? The Meal Storm, which you can use anything we want. And of course, because of this, you can get loads of extra DNA by doing uh, Reach Boss Level 7 and doing missions. Uh, fight Meal Storm one time. That's only one time, and then I think you can get even more every day, and I think I've missed uh, some, actually. Um, but, without further ado... And uh, further ado being uh, actually opening this pack and getting some more DNA, we're gonna get... A level 20 Indoraptor. A dinosaur. Ooh, what's a little wish? Ooh, what's a big wish and little wish? Odds 100%. What, what's in a big wish pack? A big wish is... Ooh, a tournament creature. Less than 1%, less than 1%. Are they all less than 1%? Oh, they are. Okay. So, you might get a decent sized pack. Um, you get You can get a bundle. Is it a bundle? It is a bundle, so you can get two of these packs. 40 quid, what's a little wish? Um, oh, it has uh, legendaries. Oh, it has everything. Oh no. Oh, you were kidding me, it has rares in as well. Can you buy them separately? Oh, we have a sticky Moloch pack. We also have an indomitable uh, pack as well. 10% chance of an Indoraptor. <gasps> Ooh, and a 90% chance of an Indominus Rex. Oh, it is. Oh my god. It's a hundred quid. Are you see? Oh my god. A hundred pound. I can't get up. What? Five? Five left? Oh, Ludia. You, you don't even need to put a limit on that. Are you expecting somebody to buy five of them? Oh my god. Five hundred pound. And if you didn't get a single Indoraptor, oh, I mean, the chances are you won't. It's 90% and 10% each time. It doesn't get any better. So you, it's not like you buy one and then you've, you know, you've bought, you've got one Indominus, so your chances go up to 20% with an uh, Indoraptor. No, 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 this is, and um, a Sticky Moloch pack, which gives you a Sticky Moloch and some up to a thousand bucks. So it's not going to be a thousand bucks. Uh, and otherwise you could probably just spend 50,000 VIP points instead of a hundred pound on a Sticky Moloch pack. My goodness. Well, anyway. How about we go we go visit our Indoraptor, shall we? There she is, all pretty. In the last episode, we uh, we got close, but we didn't get one. Whereas now, evolve. We need to go to the market. I have. Uh, well, let's, uh, I'll show you how much. Two thousand two hundred and thirty-four DNA. We are already ten percent towards the next Indoraptor because we've already guaranteed this one. So there you go. Two thousand gone, and you know we'll speed up. Why not? I'll go for it. And here she is, the second Indoraptor. Imprinted with blue. And now we're gonna feed it. Get up to level 10. Oh, there you go. Look at the beautiful eating animation. Is it a, a, a man of war? A meaty man of war? It is a meaty man of war still. Oh, beautiful. I'm sure that's gonna be an in joke with some design. They're gonna be like, can I have a man of war? Can I put man of war, man of war in the game, please? And they're finally like, yeah, sure, why not? So now that we've got two Indoraptors, we could keep them separate. Meaning we got two pretty darn decent um, Indoraptors because even at level 10, it's so, so good. But that's not what we're here for. We can combine these to make them even better. So there it is, a level 20 Indoraptor. And of course, we're just gonna speed this up because, you know, I like to waste me bucks and we need to do it for the video. Oh, there we go. Ooh, so this is the first time we fused a, a super hybrid 
Uh, is, would you call it super? Is it super? I think it is a super. Okay, so let's collect level 10. Oh, look at the red. Glorious. So it has... I didn't I didn't even check the uh, attack and whatnot. So in level 11, it's still a big jump. Ooh, look at it. Oh, I like the... Can we zoom in? Oh, we can. Look at the, the white of the underneath on the neck and the jaw. That's really nice. So a little highlight there. The, um, the yellow stripe has got tinges like flecks of orange in it as well. That's a, that actually is, I prefer that. That looks really nice. Uh, so we're going to feed this up to level 20. And it has 3,554 attack and 6,764 health. And we get to watch it eat as well. Nom, nom, nom. I mean, if that's how, if that's how big a car is, right? Indoraptor is ginormous. <laughs> like you wouldn't even be up to its bloody elbows. It's that big. It's a titan of a dinosaur. Look at it. Oh, but it looks awesome. And it'll be interesting to see where now that fits into our roster. But before we do that, well, actually, no, let's have a look. Where is it? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, just missing out on the top five spot, but it is very close. Uh, level 30, it's probably going to be top three. Maybe even top one. It's part, It could be the best dinosaur in the game. Um, but, 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 but. How about we put in... Our best, actually, I don't want to put in the best team because we've got some uh, events to get on with. We've got the claim, uh, claim your territory and this one, which I've never seen before, fight for your fund. Which, um, oh God, yeah, we, okay, so we need to keep our um, aquatics. Or at least our amphibians, my bad. Okay, so, <coughs> a choking on, lovely. <laughs> so we'll, we'll go for... Should we go for Indoraptor first? I mean, we'll probably buy it back anyway. Um, so we'll, we'll, yes. Oh, I don't know. I think we'll get the advantage first. We'll switch to Senator. Oh, if you could glitch it, you could technically get Aquatics if you can somehow glitch that. Um, so, oh, do you remember it back in the day when you would, um, back in the day, in my day, um, what was it you would, um, ah, oh, Come on, James. Yeah, you you do a battle, exit before it loaded, then load another battle, and then the old dinosaurs would go in, so you could have like an an Indominus Rex underwater. Ah, the good old days. So Gastornis is getting some. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, ooh, let's evolve a Gastornis because that's a really good creature. Um, and I think I've only got yeah level twenty. There you go, level eighty. I mean thirty. Oh, we have a code code nineteen. Here we go. Is it Rayquaza or John Cena that hasn't got it? I, th I think it's John Cena who still hasn't got uh, Code 19s. Yeah, I do recognize other... The thing is, it's just like, it's so recognizable, <laughs> the wrestler. So, like, I recognize that. But I do see, like, a Rayquaza um, picture as well. And I've, 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 I've had people that have came and gone as well on the channel. Like, some people that used to come all the time, some people that I don't see anymore. Um, so don't worry, you keep coming, I will recognize you. And it's and the thing is, like, I probably will know who you are, or at least your, your uh, profile. I just, I'm no good with names. Honestly, you meet me in real life, I'll forget your name when I've met you in person. <laughs> okay, so one more and we, oh, we, oh, that was it. <gasps> 475 uh, DNA. Perfect contain. And that's for f six more DNA towards our next interrupt. The only thing is, we need... Sit, well, 4,000 Super Raptor DNA in order to get a level 30. Uh, although, we, you know, we could get one at level, or at least a level 10 at um, 2,000. But there's no point. We may as well just fuse it to level 30. So, with that said, we'll go back to here. Cenozoic. So, we'll go for Hyenodon, uh, Titanoboa, and then we'll go for Indoraptor. But at that point, he's probably going to have a lot of attack. Um, but, you know, let's get it to level 8. This is it. Ooh, the male storm. So I will go for loads of reserves. It's only got 74 attack, so pretty pitiful. And this is, you know, it, it would be so cool if they had remodeled this um, male storm to make it like a Christmas version, like give it a red nose, maybe some baubles on the, um, on the antlers, even though the baubles probably wouldn't move because I've never seen like something with jiggle sort of weights. Or like blend shapes or any sort of physics in the game. Uh, like like a code without being animated. But it would have been cool. Um, 
but it probably would have taken up a lot of a lot more space and just for one creature yeah probably not worth it so hey you did on yeah there you go oh god i'm speeding the animations up no no i don't want to speed up the animations oh god okay there we go there you go so level two seven more levels to go uh, one, two, three. Now, what I have noticed is actually these bosses are getting easier and easier. Um, and I think it's a case of... So, like, because if they didn't and they stayed the way they were, like, the health would double and the attack would double and it would just get harder and harder. Like, you get to level eight and you wouldn't be able to level up. So they've decided to slow that down a lot. Ooh! Nom, nom, nom! I ended on with another hit. And down it goes. Oh dear. <laughs> Boss level three. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's health and attack aren't changing too much. Actually, but it's attack is it's health isn't. Um. So one, two, and you know I'm just gonna go for two attack. We may as well. Oh no, we didn't do anything. But we got eight for Titanoboa if we die. Oh, it has six. Ooh. I wonder if that glitch is still prevalent in there. In this. Oh god. That's yep. Oh no. Earthquake! Ooh. Where in comes a Titanaboa? And we can kill it in two, factor in one, and then four reserves and one block. And he did go for it. And. Pata! Strike! Oh, I watched a video um, the other day. Somebody showed me a video of like a snake. I think it was in India, I think. Or maybe it was the Philippines, I can't remember. And this snake just coming into this. Um, into a hospital or reception or whatever. And there's this guy just waiting. And it just sort of slithered in, noticed him, kept on slithering towards him. And then when he noticed it and like got up, it lunged at him. It was like a cobra. It was some friggin' aggressive thing. Oh my god. And he just like proceeded to like stamp on it. And I mean, I guess he got really lucky there. Because I mean, well, if he was in a hospital, he's in the right place <laughs> to get anti-venom. And the snake's right there so they can identify it. A lot of the times is if you get bitten by a snake, this... Okay, if you guys are listening... Pay attention to this. If you, if you live in a snake country that has snakes in it and you get bitten by a snake, make sure you remember what snake it is. Because part of the problem um, with curing snake venom, with anti-venom, is knowing what snake attacked you. If you get, if they put the wrong anti-venom in, it's just as bad as being bitten by another snake. Um, so yeah, be careful. <laughs> make sure you know what it is. Oh, interrupted. Oh, it looks so good. <gasps> Right. Well, I think it only had... We kill it in one, and there you go. I go for two block and four reserves, so we get to see it's two attack, which I think is just the regular, yeah, Jurassic World Alive attack animation. Okay, so are we on level five now? Oh, level six. Woo! That, that snake conversation. Woo! Completely forgot where I was. Oh, ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was close. Okay, but that, I think that was everything, right? I think that was all out. So one, two... One, two, three, four. And you know what? I'm going to go for five, just in case he did have a block or a reserve. I'm going to go for that. Yee! It crawled. Okay, so that's level seven. Okay, we just need to kill it one more time, and then we've got two uh, super missions done. Come on. Come on. Oh, it, it did. It did go all out. Damn it. I'm an idiot. Okay. Should we just go for an all-out attack? Let's go for an all-out attack. Yeah, we got it! Wabam! There you go. Level eight. Indoraptor will die, but you know... You can't win with these bosses. There is... Even if you get to level 1,000, it will keep on going. So he's going to go for 6. And he's going to go for Earthquake. Whoosh! He's an Earthbender! The battle rages on. But I'm sure we did some of the missions anyway. So we're going to get some DNA. 54,000. Uh-huh. Oh, we only needed to deal 500 damage. Use one Legendary. Oh, we should put Herbivores in. Ah, oh, damn. Didn't think about that. But we did do... Oh, how much did we get? 20... 34 DNA for each. Not bad at all. I think that was. So we're, we're like... One... So 207 DNA away from Mono Stegotops. And then it's only 1,000, I think. Uh, I really like this uh, inclusion of the super hybrid mechanic. Um, I also love the inclusion of, of uh, Code 19... Because there's an incentive behind it. Not only is it something different that gets your attention and you have to pay attention, 
you get a good reward for it. I mean, it's not amazing. It's just like, a, it's just a mission, really. But at the same time, I think that's pretty cool. Um, so, with Interrupted out for the count, uh, we also have this event. Um, Interrupted probably kill all of them. Oh, we got it over 21 hours. We've got a battle team cooldown of 10%. Uh, which is 38. Yep, that's around about right. I was hoping there would be a bit of, um, like, extra for VIP. Oh, maybe there is. Maybe there is. Okay, so... Fight for funds. Okay. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna do the, the tactic here. And we're gonna go for Gorgasuchus. So we go for one reserve, and then it dies. Which is fine. But then we've got three for Gorgasuchus, and we can't be killed in two. And we'll also speed this up. Da -da -da -da. So we're gonna go for three. And I think we might kill him? I think so. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Well, we got 9,000 health and Eden does 1,000 damage, so. Uh, one. I'm gonna go for one block and two reserve. And then I'm gonna switch to Tijongasaurus. And go for four reserves, one block. Oh, hold on! Never mind, he's only got two block. One kills, and factor in two. And then there you go. I'll put in two of my block just in case. Yeah, he's gonna have five, I think. Or, or four. Pro probably four. No, it's five. Never mind. Okay, this works out. This works out. He goes for three. He's only got two block. Um, and we've got five. And three doesn't kill him. So I'm going to switch to Tijongasaurus. And go for four reserve. Ah, here we are. Back. It feels like it should be a new year. Because, like, Christmas is done. And Christmas is always, like, at the end of the year. And it's the mad rush. You spend time with your family. And then... I, technically, I should be... Like, I was thinking, should I work today? I don't know. I've got, like, a little bit of a blocked nose, but I'm okay. I'm actually... This is, like, the first year ever that I can remember in a long time that I didn't get sick during Christmas. And I think it's because I'm taking, like, vitamin tablets and stuff. And I'm like, hee hee. My immune system's, like, huge. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. And we'll switch into Ostoposaurus. Same tactic here. Probably can't kill it in three, just like Golden Sutures. Four, however, is probably enough. Uh, now, is it worth attacking? Three, six, nine, and... Yeah, go for it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no, it wasn't worth it. I have to go for two to kill him. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, two block, one reserve. Oh, no. Oh, God. 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Oh, he, he could have killed me there. I think he could have killed me. Oh, no. Probably should, should have put in, like, some sort of amphibian. Okay, what's he got? He's got six. He's got to go for five, right? Woo! Okay, so he's got one block. This is good, this is good, because I have to go for three to guarantee a kill. So, one, two, three. He's dead. Um, now, if, he's, if he goes for one block, one reserve, he's got five. I die in one, two, three. Uh, let's say I die in three, so he's, I need to have two block. Or three block. Yeah, there we go. I have to have three block. Okay, we've definitely survived. Well, we would have survived anyway, but I could have went for two block and three reserves. I could have switched those around, but I was playing it safe. Um, so please attack me. Oh, no! Okay, I need to go for four to kill him. So if he goes for three block, I've lost. And I think we won! Bah! Yo, that was close still. Just over a thousand extra. Woo! Right, so it looks like we're not we're not going to be able to do that technique. We're going to have to use... Oh, never mind. Okay, okay. This just got a lot harder. Um, we need a good carnival. Or oh, Metrophodon, and we're going to exit out loads. So let's go for it. Because Metrophodon's got loads of attack. So he's going to go for two. This is okay. I mean, I, I you could go... You don't have to do this. I just, uh, you know, I, if I, this back out glitch still works, so I'm going to do it. Uh, so I'm going to go for one block, two reserve here. Uh, just knowing that he can't kill me. Uh, no matter what he goes for. Oh, perfect. Okay. So I'm going to have five, so I'm going to go for one block, four reserve. And, ooh, he could kill me if he goes for all three. Chances are very rare because it's not attacking numbers. Oh, he killed. I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive. Awesome. <laughs> I was about to exit out. I'm a thumb on the button. Okay, so one, two, three is dead. One block, four reserve. Now, technically, the Metrophodon might not even attack me here because it doesn't have a guaranteed kill. I've got five. I could have four block. 
And, well, yeah, there you go. He would have killed me then. Look at that swipe. Look at the extra animation there. I wonder how they did that. If that was part of, like, the animation itself, or if that's just an effect. It's got to be part of the animation. Like, it would have just been, like, some translucent thing, right? Ooh, I don't know. Right, so... So, so, so. Two hits kills it. Factor in two extra. And you know what? I'm going to factor in one extra in case he went for three. He didn't. And he's a slam dunk. And Yudon comes in, has six. And we're, we're just going to exit because he's 100% going to attack me and kill me there. Um, I'm going to have six. I'm going to switch to Tijongasaurus, go for four reserves, one block. And pretty much, even if he attacks me for two, um, I think he's dead. He's not going to block for six. And even if he does block for six, um, I can kill him in two. So we won. We won. There you go. That's the first time I think I've ever done that um, event. Mighty money. And he blocked for five. Sealing the feathery Tyrannosaurid thing's feet. Because it is a Euteranus, which is a relative of Tyrannus. Right. Okay, come on. Let's go. Hey, oh, ear damage. Ah! Beautiful, beautiful. So did oh we got another code 19 and we barely got a hundred bucks. I think we just got over a hundred bucks. Come on, I don't get why they're so stingy. It's so annoying. Because like even if you look in here, you used to trade coin for bucks, and it used to always be a hundred guaranteed. Now it's minimum 89. It's so frustrating because it's it's just such, it's just any way to wheedle out just a couple less bucks from you. Damn it, Ludia. You know what you're doing. <laughs> it's not funny. Okay, and this DNA one. Ho, ho, no. So what's this? <gasps> this is worth 10. Okay, let's go. Who is it? <gasps> oh, it's Gorgosuchus. Fresh from his battle. So let, let's calm him down. Frubasa. Uh, well, I missed one. Could be worse. Could be worse. Round two. It's going to be another one. Hip. 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 Ah! Ah! No! Okay, right. Well, ooh. We might be in blue. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, my iPad doesn't glitch out and gets all these. That's good. That's good. Okay, should be another one. It'll be like one, two, three. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Ooh, I almost clicked that too early. Right, this will be a top one on the bottom. Pyo. Pyo. Pia! Pia! Yes! Okay, come on. Just five. Just five. This is it. Just five. We can do this. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah! We got in the green. Okay, I didn't get a perfect containment. But... Oh, no, no. Never mind, I did. Well, we didn't get any extra DNA. We could have got a fair... If I'd perfect all of that, I could have got maybe over a thousand DNA. But really, as long as I got that ten Super Raptor DNA, that's all that mattered. So, ooh, what should we go for? Claim your territory or glacier shifts. Ooh, that's an aquatic. Look at that level 40 Dunkleosaurus. Should we go for that? No, we'll save him. We'll save him. Um, Because it, oh, it is a Trinicarium. You know what? Ooh, I'm tempted. How much health does he have? Ooh, no, not. Ah, oh, god damn it. There, you. Okay. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Let's go for Giant Orthocone to switch them out. Then let's go for Henodus. And then let's go for Yu Moon. That, I think, should be good enough. Now, he's probably going to switch out, so I'm going to go for one block. Either way, if something switches in, it can't touch me. And if he goes for two, I'm not deed. And hopefully it goes for an attack. And it does. Glad I did that. Otherwise, Henodus would have been in and I would only have three. Which I don't think... Oh, it might have been enough to kill him. Okay, there we go. That's good. So now we can get three reserve. What you gonna do? Oh, perfect. Awesome. He's got nothing. And Hanodas has 2,000 attack. 2,244. So I can go for two attack, four reserves, and one block. Yo! Total power! Pancake power! That's it. There you go. Alliteration. We're learning here. I've taught you how to recognize and treat a snake wound. Actually, no. Right. Let's 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 debunk some myths. Do not suck the venom out. It acts far too fast for you to do that. Even if you did it instantly after being bit. Um, it might actually work, but the thing is, your blood travels around your body so quick and 
Um, the, if you think about it, the fangs actually penetrate quite deep into your skin. So there's, there's no way you're going to suck out the venom. So if you're bitten by a snake, don't suck out the venom. And if you know you've been bitten, what you do is you... Oh, look at that! <laughs> if you've been bitten by a snake, stay calm. Stay calm. Make sure you identify the snake. If, you, if you're not like uh, versed up on snake species, take a picture of it if you've got your phone. Or remember how it's colored. Or how it acted. If it rattled its tail, if it had a frill, remember those features. Uh, second, get yourself to hospital. Uh, call an ambulance, or if you can, it, it's probably quicker to drive, depending on where you are. But make sure you stay calm, get to a hospital. And then when you're at the hospital, um, tell them you've been bitten by a snake and what kind of snake, if you could describe it. Um, the thing is, if, if you're in a country which doesn't have venomous snakes, like England, I think, and you are bit by a venomous snake, I don't know if we have anti-venom on hand, <laughs> if we've got to be honest. Um, but, okay, let, so let's have a look. There's, there's a lot of reefs here. So we need some decent, like, Gillicus and Tylosaur and Bonogamus. That'll do. We've only got two more battles. This is almost a guaranteed win. Tylosaur's going to take out the Dunkleosaurus. And Bonogamus is going to clean up. So I'm going to go for uh, one block because Dunkleosaurus is coming in. Uh, but yeah, the reason why you want to stay calm and not panic is if you panic, you're going to force that blood, uh, sorry, the venom around your body even quicker, meaning it's going to affect you quicker. And depending on what kind of snake it is, um, you're probably going to have organ failure. You might start bleeding out your nostrils and mouth and everything. And it's just not a good time. <laughs> just stay calm and don't panic. And there you go. We've actually, I think that is genuine snake advice. <laughs> snake bite advice from the beaver. Who says education, educational channel. That's what we are. More ad revenue, please. <laughs> um, but like I say, I am not uh, versed in. Um, I'm not a first aid. I'm not. Um, I, I'm not a medic. But I'm almost 100% sure that's how what you should do. If not, and you don't trust me, and always take what I say with a pinch of salt, Google it. I've already brought it to to, to hand to you right now, all to concrete. That in your head is just Google it and what to do and they sh it should be all that just in case just in case because like that's it ju that's just good practice if you don't trust somebody or you don't like 100% believe their references do look it up yourself Hun that's the best way to do it so yeah that was a guaranteed kill I, um, I went for two block meaning that he couldn't kill me in two but I didn't check that actually I probably shouldn't have went for two block I should have went for more um, and finally yes Hainosaur, Dunkleosaur, and Plotosaurus. That's all we need. I'm just going to go for reserves with Hainosaur. Doesn't matter. Dunkleosaur is going to sweep. And the poor Bonogamus at the back as well there. It's got low health and it's going to double my attack. Or at least plus 0.5. Is it double? I think it is actually double. So, there we go. Four reserves and two block. My risky play of going for all reserves has paid off in some defense. And I have died. <laughs> but brings in this fella. The Max Dunkleus. Look at that. Max Dunkleosaurus. Level 20 Indoraptor. You've seen it all. So two. And then there we go. That should kill him. And I don't think he had any block. Whoopash. And brings in the same Plotosaurus. Same health. Same attack. And he can't touch me. Can't touch you. So we're going to go for one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. There you go. And he did go for two block, and boosh! And what's the attack on this thing? 1,200, and it dies in one hit. Making my attack 5,300. Oh, hold on! Hold on! Oh, he got him! Oh, he did! Now, it doesn't matter. We won anyway, but they... <laughs> I could have went for more block. Honestly, because I could have killed him in one hit. I could have went for four block, knowing I would have survived. But Plotosaurus was there. Um, that was very, very risky of me. I will admit. So there you go. You're an Ethereum. Uh... Also, I notice if you do a lot of battles, um, there's a high chance of you getting a code 19. Um, maybe if you log in and log out. Oh, Urinotherium is now available. I'm pretty sure we've already got that. Did we not have that? 
Woo, we might not have actually. Okay, so let's collect some extra DNA. Collect that. Um, what are we working towards? There was another hybrid that came out. Um, oh, that's right. It was the, um, the Cenozoic one. But you know what? After looking at just what of a difference the um, Dunkleosaurus made, which honestly wasn't too much. We lost Dunk Dunk we lost Dunkleosteus, which isn't too much of a loss, really. And we also lost the Mosasaur, which it just got a buff, so it kind of was a big loss. Um, we still have another Mosasaur. And why not finish with a Mosasaur feeding? But there you have it. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, Leave a like for Mosasaur, F for shark, press F for shark, and until next time, and I'll see you later, bye bye